I'm not going to lie, I can't live without this memory tool. I'm going to show you right now. But first, you have to know is that everything you're leaving on the computer, so turned on, is always going to use the memory on your computer. This is otherwise also called RAM, but that's a more professional name. We're going to keep it to memory. Let me show you how to install it and how to use it on the best way out of my own experience. So here right below on the desktop you can see here my physical memory and this is a pop-up I have in the taskbar icons. And here I can just right click on it and then click here on clean memory. This will clean my memory and optimize my PC. You can already see it dropping. It will really help you if you have to start a lot of applications and you don't have that much memory. Down below in the description, you can go to this page and it will bring you to Memory Duct 3.4, the latest one, at least on the video date I'm uploading this. So, of course, you gotta scroll down and after doing that, you will find Memory Duct Download right here and install for Windows. Let's click on it. After doing this, it will of course take you to the download page. You can also click there if you're on the top. And then after that, you will see this page, which will allow you to install it or download for Windows. Let's click on it. And after this, we just have to open the pop-up you see right here. If you can't find this because it's probably hidden, you can click on these three dots. And after that, click on download and it will open like this. You can also, by the way, pin it, but this is of course Edge. I'm not gonna explain how Edge works but this is probably also how your Chrome works. So let's open the file right here by clicking on it or just double clicking on it. And then we just have to accept the administrative privileges. Let's click on yes. This will allow it to install it. So let's click on it again. Sometimes it can happen. It's probably because I double clicked. Yeah, it's because I double clicked. Sometimes it will open it twice, but it doesn't really matter. Just open one and then start the setup by clicking on next, accepting the licenses, make sure to read them. Sometimes they can give you weird terms and services you're pretty much accepting to and you don't want that. But still, I would say it's safe because it's a junior UI. This means that it's pretty much open and yeah, it's not that dangerous, but you never know. Let's click on next. After doing this, you have to choose your destination folder. You can keep it the same like this and then click on next again. After doing this, you will see localization, your uh, desktop, and of course, the start menu shortcut right here. You can store settings in the application directory. This will save it in the directory you're selecting right here in a portable mode. This means that you can move the folder to a new location. But let's not do that and install it directly on the system. Let's click on install. After installing, it could probably have an update. Let's click here on automatically install non-executable updates. This means that it's going to install an update without prompting anything and it's really good because it automatically updates everything. It's asking you for this for security reasons of course, but let's click on automatically install non-executable updates. Let's click here on yes. After doing this, you just have to close this and this is memory that already. We can close the setup prompt. Let's click on next and then you can run it, but it has, it has already run. Doesn't really matter. Uh, let's click here on finish. After doing this, you will see memory duct right here probably also on the desktop, depends on what you've chosen. But here you can click here on memory. Are you sure you want to clean memory? We want to make sure that we click on do not ask again. This will make sure in the future that you don't get this prompt again. Then click here on continue. Right below you will see this prompt. What you can do is click on the three dots and then turn off all notifications from memory duct. If you were too late for this notification, you can go right below and then click on this button for notifications and it can be popping up here. After doing this, you can click on this cog wheel, the settings, and after doing this, you will see the same options. If you missed it here, there is a possibility you can also click here on manage notifications. It will bring you to notification connections. Just scroll down and you'll see it here. Let's turn the notifications off. We want to do this because every time you're going to click on here to clean your memory, you want to make sure it doesn't keep popping up this. But for now, what we want to do is to make sure it's always right below in the screen. To do that, you have to open the memory duct. After doing this, click here on this arrow, right click, or I mean drag uh, the, the memory duct and you should be able to drag it down here. If that's not possible, you can also right click here on your taskbar, click on taskbar settings, 
and I'm pretty sure on Windows 11 it's possible. Let's see if it's possible for Windows 10. Yes, right here, notification area, and I click here on select which icons appear on the taskbar. If you click on here, you will see memory duct right here. We can deselect this and it will disappear right below. If you click on it again, it will appear here as a quick shortcut. Right click on his and then of course click on clean memory. You're pretty much already done, but what you can do is automate all the processes here, which is very useful because you don't want to click on it every single time. So let's click here on settings. After doing this, you have to click on load on system startup. After clicking it again, you will see start minimize. This will make sure that you go get this prompt every single time your PC starts, but it will always start up with your computer. This will of course prepare it, but it doesn't mean that it will automatically clean. Let's go here to file and then click on settings. Click here on memory cleaning. This is of course the process is going to be automatic. What I recommend is that you click here on clean every minute and not in percentage because let's say you will be playing a game. It will be cleaning it every single time just because you were using that percentage all the time. This will create problems with your system. Let's not do that. Let's clean every 30 minutes. That's good enough. May you could maybe do 20 minutes. I don't recommend 15, but 20 is fine. After doing 20, every 20 minutes, it will automatically clean your memory. It won't close any applications. It completely safe. Nothing will be broken. It will just give you some more memory to run some more programs. You also have a hotkey right here. So of course a shortcut, which is control. And then of course F1, which will clean it. There you go. Right below, you saw a drop. There you go, 22. It's not that much now. We also have appearance if you want to create a transparent background you just have to close it i think there you go and now it is transparent right below you can actually see that i'm pretty sure it changed immediately right there you go right below you can actually customize which color you want this is background color let's say i want it red uh, and then okay it will automatically be red you can change it to any color you want you can click on this one there you go let's click on okay it will be yellow you can't even read it anymore but what you can do with yellow is do a black text like this and there you go now it's black or you can change it again do some darker red so let's do darker red there you go and now you have dark red and it's less destructive but of course i'm gonna reset it just to keep it the same it's going to reset all the application settings, by the way. This means that it's also going to reset your settings for memory cleaning. So let's not do that. It resets all the settings of the whole program. There you go. This is the tray icon. Uh, this is, of course, going to indicate colors. The tray icon is right below here. So this is the tray. I just have it here. Uh, it's going to be a warning level at this percentage. It's a 36. Let's say I do 35 will give me a different color let's say i would do 40 it will give me a different color again standard i chosen and danger level is of course when it is at the peak so let's say it was normally around 90 percent i think but it doesn't mean your computer is going to explode it just means that some programs are going to be slower because the memory is not available there is no memory left this is the reason why i want to clean it very smart you can double click on it to show in height and you can middle click on it to clean memory. Also very useful for mouse control. You can also change it. For example, my own middle mouse button is broken. So <laughs> it sometimes works, but therefore I can double click on it to clean memory. There you go. Just double click on it and won't open. And there you go. We clean my memory. Very useful. Make sure you disable the balloon tips to disable, of course, the cleaning results. Every single time it's getting cleaned every 30 minutes or 20 it's going to give you a pop-up. Very annoying. I hope you found this 10 minutes video very useful. Make sure to go down in the description, install memory duct and leave a like if you enjoyed this. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see more content like this. I think that my priority right now is Windows and Mail because these videos have been doing the best on this channel. And I thank you so much that it's doing so great. I know which videos I should do and some I shouldn't. So you guys have the best content you want. If you want something else, just let me know down below in the comments. I will react to every single comment. Even though it's critics, please give me critics. This is how we all learn. This is how we all fall. And that's the most important step to learning. To have your mistakes corrected. I'll see you in the next one. And to thank you for watching. Goodbye.